आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनराइवल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find videos for practice dozens of articles videos for chanting and guided meditations to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration i am grateful for your comments and questions It really makes my day to know that Unravel the Thread is making a difference in your practice and in your life. This podcast presents excerpts from the book Unravel the Thread, the complete guide for living the Yoga Sutras today. If you love the podcast and want to support my work as an independent content creator, on the simple-yoga.org website, you can easily donate to keep the podcast going. On today's episode we continue our journey by focusing our attention on specific ideas for weaving the thread of yoga into our lives. We will start with two definitions and with questions for you to contemplate daily this week. Weaving the thread of yoga into life. Life is an experiment. Consciously or unconsciously, each of us is running that experiment. Yoga offers you a systematic approach for making your life experiment conscious and deliberate. As it is the case with every part of your life journey, you are in charge. You control the exploration of your options. You choose the decisions that are most conducive to living a vibrant, meaningful, and joyful life. Although it can be tempting to attach to and stick with what we prefer or like, Life is constant change. Your circumstances, options and choices will be different at different times. What remains the same is that you are fully present for all of it. Let's start with the two definitions. Yoga, Y O G A. You organically growing aware. Yoga is presence. Presence is attending to every unique here and now moment of your life. Being present is a choice that only you can make. When you decide to pay attention to your life, you have already started on the journey as we saw in Sutra 1:1. Yoga offers you a path to grow your awareness organically. Awareness is what makes presence possible. Organically means that you do the best that you can do comfortably. When you explore your options for thoughts, feelings, movements, breathing and interactions with deliberate and heartfelt consistency, as we saw in sutras 1:12, 1:13 and 1:14, you will notice limitations, obstacles and restrictions as well as strengths, abilities and virtues. Knowing what enhances your presence and what detracts from being present as we saw in sutras 1:5 to 1:11 enables you to make adjustments that help your awareness grow this requires releasing your attachments to your current ways of being that obstruct the flow of your awareness as we saw in sutras 1:4 1:15 and 1:16 Instead of trying to make yourself into somebody different, you're trying to let go of the misperceptions distorting who you really are. One of the biggest obstacles in yoga is impatience, combined with the misperception that trying to do more than you can will get you to your destination faster. We saw this in Sutra 130. In fact, Pushing yourself harder than you can handle is the fastest way to regress. If you consistently try to do what you can do comfortably, you will notice that what you can do comfortably expands at the natural level that you can handle. It's like wanting to start a program of exercise by walking. Just walk for as long as you can comfortably. If you walk regularly, you will notice that the distance you can walk 
increases gradually without exhausting yourself and without causing you unnecessary strain or pain. Besides, you grow in awareness by expanding your understanding, your kindness, your compassion, and your humility. When you use this approach, which combines persistence, abhyasa, with patience, vairagya, as we saw in Sutra 112, you can enjoy the journey and its fruits. As a result, your yoga practice becomes a combination of self-awareness, self-care, and self-regulation. This perspective enhances the quality of your participation in your life so that you can live with enthusiasm, wisdom, and humility. That is the definition of Kriya Yoga in Sutra 2.1. The second definition is simple. S I M P L E. Self inquiry to modulate predilections for life enrichment. In all endeavors, it is tempting to keep making things more complex. Keep your yoga practice simple. Self inquiry. Know your tendencies. Pay attention to your ways of being, chitta varittis, in the form of attitudes, thoughts, emotions, beliefs, posture, movements, breathing, intentions, and interactions. Clarify what you know and what you don't know. Modulate predilections. Notice restrictions and inefficiencies that hinder your ability to participate consciously, deliberately, and wholeheartedly in your life. Also notice the tendencies and inclinations that are life-affirming. Knowing your tendencies is the first step to regulating them. Clarify what is within and beyond your control. Set aside whatever is beyond your control and focus on what you can regulate. Develop your skill for mastering your ways of being instead of allowing your ways of being to determine your attitude, choices, actions, and goals. Life Enrichment Direct all your attention and energy to enhancing the quality of your participation in your life through your intentions, actions, and interactions. Keep attending to the quality of your participation in whatever you do. These are the questions for you to contemplate during this week. What distracts me from being fully present in the moment that I am right now? Is it possible for me to modulate those distractions? What is the origin of these distractors? Is it from my beliefs, my preferences, my memories, my dreams? Could I just keep returning patiently to giving my full attention to what I am doing right now? What obstacles do I find as I try this? Thank you very much for listening. I hope that your exploration this week is enjoyable and that you will join me next week to continue learning more simple and effective techniques. Remember, if you have questions when trying to apply these ideas, do not hesitate to contact me through my website, simple-yoga.org. If Unravel the Thread is part of your day and you feel generous, I would appreciate it if you could support my work with a donation at simple-yoga.org. Thank you. And thank you also for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Remember that you can have your own copy of Unravel the Thread. Until next time, Namaste.